And if you're telling me no, you want me to call this number and then follow that process? Yeah, we're not going to do that. I don't want that. Okay. Well, that's, so, that's, that's, if you don't want the number, that's all I can do for you, sir. Right, okay. Can I get a, a complaint form? You can get the legal section's number here. Y'all yeah, don't have complaint forms at this precinct? We, what are you trying like, to file a complaint on? A complaint on you? You're trying to file a complaint on Yes. Me. Can I get a complaint form? Okay. All right. Hang on one second. Can I get your name and badge number before you go back through that door? Corporal Trussell, ID number 5572. Thank you. Can I get yours as well? Officer Joe Brees, 6490. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you. You want the number of the legal section? No, I want a complaint form. What's going on, citizens? Welcome back to the People's Mic. What a day we at the Baltimore County Police Precinct Number Two, out in Essex. Uh, I don't know why it's just block right here, but yeah, we just want to see uh, they're gonna respect our rights to record in public while ensuring that our rights are not infringed on, while providing transparency and accountability. So we all. Also try to get a dialogue with uh, that's it, that's, yeah, that's that's the place. yeah, we're gonna try to get a dialogue with a a supervisor. I'm trying this new chess move. Um visiting the police stations and then letting them know, you know, that I'm gonna be in the area. That way, if I have any issues when they get out there, they can uphold the Constitution uphold their oath and you know protect our rights. So uh, let's get in here and, and see what we can do. Y'all hang tight. Uh, this place out here in the cut. I swear. doing today? Good. Uh, I can't even see. Can I do a um, a PIA request with you guys? I'm trying to get some some records. PIA request. Public information, uh, like just some reports and information that I want that this place may have. That is correct. That's one way to do it. Um, I like to do mine in person. Uh, I can fill out on a blank sheet of paper. There's no standard form. I give it to you guys. You guys route it wherever it needs to go, and you know, then we'll be good to go. I'm asking for a series of information uh, that I would like. That's public information. Yes. Okay, I'm just going to, I mean, it's pretty small, I'm just going to look around, but, okay. I don't know what else you guys have to offer. Okay, so they're going to try to help us out. What's up, being house animals? I guess people drop off animals in there. Check this out, citizens. So, behind the glass, I know y'all can't really hear. It's just that that corporal's uh, attitude is just disgusting. He's over there asking another sergeant, like, what does this guy want? Like, why is he here? Like, I'm inconven inconveniencing him. Like, like, dude, you work for the public, my guy, right? So, like, serve the public, serve it proudly. So, that's when he comes out and he asks, like, you know, how you doing today, sir? Whatever. I said, good. Yeah, you doing? He said, good. I said, you sure? Right? Because the attitude that he had was just, just terrible behind the glass, like it's not see-through. Like, dude, I can actually see you and I can actually hear you. But y'all keep listening. Check this out. How you doing, sir? I mean, I'm doing okay. How you doing? Good. You sure? You need help with something? Yeah, I wanted to get some public information. Okay, what kind of information? Uh, I can write it down or I can vocalize it to you. You can write it down. It's a... PIA request by the state okay. of Maryland, and then you guys can route it to whoever can give me the information. They can email it back to me, and whatever fee is associated with it, I'll pay the fee. Okay. 
Um, we don't do that here in the building, but mm -hmm. our headquarters building, they have a legal section. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you the number to them. So all you have to do is just call them, and then they'll give you a form that you have to fill out. And if there's a fee associated with it, they can give it to you. And then you just give it to them, whatever information you're requesting. Yeah, right. I can understand that. Um, the state attorney general states that as a, as a member of the public, I don't have to go to each location or wherever you designate to go fill out the form. I can go to wherever I want to come here, and if it's information that, you know, this you know, precinct may have or what have you. I can give it to the first government employee, which would be like you or, you know, one of you, and you guys are routed. You can't expect a member of the public to go to whatever location. I can go there and they would say, oh, well, we may not do it, but you can send it here. That onus is not on the member of the public. It's on you guys to route it wherever it needs to go. I just go to the first, you know, person. I tell you exactly what I need, and uh, I can get a copy of that. Y'all route it wherever it needs to go, and then that's yes, Again, we're just talking about what I have the right to do. That's what I would like to do right. today. I understand that that's what you think. That's how this process goes. Okay. But I'm just to let you know that the process is is that in order to fill out an MPIA request, mm -hmm. you have to go through our label section. We don't give that out at the precinct. Okay. okay. So any information that you want can be requested through our legal section, and they'll be okay. happy to give you whatever you need. So that would be a denial that you're giving me today? No, it's not a denial. It's it, the fact that I'm giving you the, the correct method on how to obtain the information that you're mm -hmm. trying to get. Okay? This is the number to legal section. Would you like this number? Uh, no. If, you, if you're giving me that as your... That's you. That's me. That's you. That's me. Yeah, if you're giving me that, then that's a denial. That's literally a denial because I want to do it in person and I want to do it here with one of you guys. So, I, so if you want, you can call that number here. I don't want to call. In, because they, they're gonna, it has to be in writing. Wherever I give it to, it has to be in writing. Again, you can call them and then whatever information they get from you, like I said, you're, you're trying to get it through an email. You can give them your email, you can give them whatever, and then you can obtain it that way. So we're not denying, denying you anything. anything. We're, we're just giving. trying to give you the method on how to obtain the information. Okay. You're trying well, to get. Can you call? No, you can call. I don't have a phone. There's plenty of public places to get a phone. Again. Yeah, what, what's that in your hand? Is that a phone? It had no surface. Well, there's plenty I mean, of places to look for Wi-Fi. Again, and see what I'm talking about by asking me to go to other additional locations? The law says you can't ask me to do that. I mean, that's what you're telling me to do. Are you able to look up the law right now and tell me? I mean, you can go look. It's a, it's a whole document signed by of the state attorney general. Okay. Called the Maryland PIA request process. Okay. And it says I can go to the first, like, government, you know, employer person and I could turn that document into you guys, right. whoever that is. You that how the process works on how to obtain that information okay. is to go through our legal section. And I'm just and I'm trying to provide you the number to the legal section so I, that you can go through this process and obtain this information. If you're refusing this number, then I, there's nothing I can really help no, you. I'm just, I just want to fill my request say here. I do this at other police stations. I have no issue. They receive it. And they route it wherever it needs to go. Right, and we'd be happy to do that. But like I said, but you're not, not taking that. It. For we can't do that here. Our our legal section at headquarters is the one that facilitates all MPIA requests. So I can give it to you, and you can route it to them. I don't know where they are, and I don't want to go there. I want to do it at this police station. That is what I want. And if you're telling me no, you want me to call this number and then follow that process? Yeah, we're not going to do that. I don't want that. Okay. Well, so, that's that's if you don't want the number, that's all I can do for you, sir. Uh, okay. Can I get a, a complaint form? You can get the legal section's number here. Y'all yeah, don't have complaint to. forms at this precinct? We, what are you trying like, to file a complaint on? A complaint on you. You're trying to file a complaint yes. on you? Yes, can I get a complaint form? Okay, all right, hang on one second. Can I get your name and badge number before you go back through that door? Corporal Trussell, ID number 5572. Thank you, can I get yours as well? Officer Joe Brees, 6490. Hey, I appreciate that, thank you. You want the number for the legal section? Uh, no, I want a complaint form.
Hey, how you doing? Hey, question. When you when you go back there, I requested a complaint form. Like, we don't have a complaint form. So how do you do a complaint process here? Give me a minute. Okay, I appreciate it. Keep referencing this time because that's all we've been waiting. Y'all don't have copies of those here? There is no form like that. But what is the 23, whatever number? Internal affairs. Okay. Complaint, just call it 887, 2300. Okay, where is, there, where is their building located at? Do you know? 700 East Joppa headquarters. 700 East Joppa Road? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, Uh, well, it was on one of your sergeants that was out there. Uh, I want to do a PIA request here, which I, I have the right to do by state law. Yeah, but and, you can't do it here. But I, I still got to do it through headquarters. But I can do it here, and then I can fill it out here, and then it would be on you guys afford it. There's no form for you to fill out. Well, there's, by state law, there's no standard form. I can fill on a blank sheet of paper. Oh, yeah, if you want to do that, I can send it up. That's what I wanted to do. The oh, other shit. officer wouldn't even accept it. Flip that over and whatever, and that's I'll, all I want to do. I appreciate I'll it. I'll put headquarters on it and send it up. That's, that's all I ask. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We just don't have a form to give you. No, no and I, I, I didn't, you know, if I asked him, I said, if he didn't have a standard form, I would have told him the same thing I told you. He was like, I'll give you a phone number, and if you don't want the phone number, that's it, and he walked back back there. And I was like... And that's all they have to give you. The only thing we have to provide is legal phone number or internal affairs. Right, and it, but yeah, and for the, for the, the PIA request... Again, yeah, like, I can fill out on any piece of paper, yeah, yeah. and that's fine. And typically, all we do is send it to legal. That's it. That's yeah. all I want. That's all yeah. I ask. Okay. That's why typically we always just give the phone number to legal, because then they may have something they send you. They may right. forward it to you or, mm -hmm. or something in email that's or whatever. That's completely understandable. I just know I can fill it out on a blank sheet of paper. Yeah, yeah. And you that's it. fill something out, I'll send it up to Parmental up to legal. That's Thank fine. you. Do y'all got a pen up here somewhere? Y'all got no pens up here? There we go. Appreciate that. Just, Give me about, just take it back in that little slide thing for when you're done. Can I get a copy from you guys? A copy of this once I fill it out? Like, just say you, you guys received it. I'm going to put the date on it. You guys just make a copy of it. Give me the yeah, copy. copy. Okay, I appreciate it. I'll be done. Five minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah I appreciate I'll be right there. All right, thank you. We'll go fill out this real quick. Turned in a request, so we'll wait that. Say again? My email. They all respond to the email. No name? No, no name.
They they will. Yeah, it's gonna be something. Yes. Okay. Okay. Can he ask him? Can I get his, his name and badge number? His name and badge number. Yeah. If you want to, yeah, that's fine. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mims? M-I-M-S-4946. Hey, thank you so much. There you go. Hey, I appreciate that. Y'all have a blessed one. We got a request. Cool. All right, citizens. Let me wrap to you. So... Came down here at the Essex police station to, uh, you know, check these guys out, uh, you know, do our PI requests. Uh, at least they, you know, uphold their oath as far as, you know, they don't have an issue with me recording or anything like that, uh, which we always can appreciate. But the professionalism with the other officer is, is quite disgusting. Um, so we definitely want to rectify that. So. Uh, we still going to reach out to Eternal Affairs. Um, and, hell, we might just go ahead and go up there now and, you know, talk to those guys about about them and their the way they conduct themselves over at this establishment. So, um, yeah, it's just, I mean, you, you're a public servant, so you should, you know, serve the public and you should serve the public proudly. So we will uh, at least uh, talk to them and see if they can rectify that. And hopefully, you know, when other people come up here for whatever business or whatever reason, they will behave themselves accordingly. So, hey, I appreciate y'all supporting me. And, uh, yeah, till next time. Peace. What's going on, citizen? Yeah, I know some of y'all asked about the memorial for the key bridge. So this is something that they put together to highlight the memory of the lives that were lost at the Francis Key Bridge. So I wanted to definitely highlight this and just give them a, you know, a moment of silence.